Hello bakers and welcome back to the final episode of the 12 Bakes of Christmas. If you missed yesterday's recipe for our candy cane cookies, the link for that is down below. But today, we've got another Christmas classic for you. We couldn't end the series without one of the all-time favourite Christmas puddings. That's right, it's... Oh, I just said it. It's Christmas pudding. This is an incredibly simple, all-in-one recipe. Add 550 to 600 grams of dried fruit into a bowl. I've used 400 grams of dried mixed fruit, 50 grams of cranberries, 50 grams of dates, and 50 grams of crystallized ginger. Next, you'll need to add in 125 grams of suet, 125 grams of plain flour, 125 grams of sugar, 150 grams of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of brandy, the zest of an orange, one egg, and 150 milliliters of milk. And breathe. Mix all your ingredients together until smooth. Pour your mixture into your pudding bowls. I've opted for mini puddings as they cook a lot quicker, they look cute, and you don't have to worry about anyone stealing your share. Once full, press each pudding down slightly. I've got these handy lids to seal mine, but if you don't, you'll need to cover them with a double layer of foil, securing it with string. Place the puddings into a deep pan and then fill halfway with water. Cover with a tight lid and then steam on a low heat for two hours, or three hours if you're making one large pudding. Once cooked, remove from the cases, and if you'd like to serve yours with flaming brandy, gently heat a tablespoon of brandy over the flame until it warms. Then, slowly tilt towards the flame until it catches. Quickly pour the brandy over your pudding and serve in style. Well there you go, I've had an amazing time creating all of these treats for you and it's definitely got me into the festive mood. I hope it's done the same for you too. If you recreate any of the recipes from the series, make sure you send in the pictures on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And of course, if you've got any requests for next year, leave them in the comments below because I've already got planning. Thank you so much for watching the 12 Bakes of Christmas. I hope you subscribe. Have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year and I'll see you in 2017.